Catog's keeping, or Dixie's keeping Catog out of there. That one's a little girl. The other one's a little boy. Aren't they really small? They look a little thinnish. Yeah. Boy, we just missed these. But they're already walking. Funny. Look at that umbilical cord hanging on that one. Those babies, do you think they are? They do have like a bubba shape to their face. These look very whitey to me. Dixie, no. Dixie. Dixie. Well, she's probably going to be okay with Dixie. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the farm. Just got home pulling in and Shelby spotted these little guys. Uh, we missed their birth today. We haven't missed many, but we've missed a couple. It happens, unfortunately. It's always a fun thing to watch, uh, but we, we missed it. Should have got home a little earlier. You can still see there's some afterbirth hanging on, on mama there. Dixie's doing what Dixie does and is licking these little goats clean. Uh, if you guys are new to our channel, this dog right here plays mom to everything on the farm and all of the animals are totally cool with her doing it, um, especially the goats. She's reared uh, goats on our farm now quite a few times, so as you can see, the, the mom is tolerating a dog licking her goats. Um, right before I turned on the camera, the other dog... Uh, took a set of horns to the head for getting too close. So Dixie gets the goat pass That was our last goat that was supposed to kid. We were expecting her to kid later than the other ones, which she's done now by um, About a month I would say It's been about a month. I think the other ones are about a month old and they're on a I think they're already getting weaned as well I think one of them's for sure weaned the mama's kind of weaned them, but come over here and take a look at the cows so we put the uh, we put a molasses, well, it's a it's a vital lick that's in there. It kind of looks like molasses. Um, but we stuck a bucket of that stuff in there for the cows. This is a extra protein source for the cows. Um, a supplemental feed helps them out with pregnant moms. Um, it just gives them extra boost. Lila is getting ready to calve soonish. Um, and then we've got a couple other ones in here. So this is just a great thing to add to the herd. It's a 250-pound uh, bucket. Um, it's a good, it's just a good nutrients addition to uh, to the herd if you can uh, if you can afford to feed them these. We don't have that many cows, so they won't just bomb right through this thing. Um, if you have a large amount of cows, they they would put a dent in the stuff pretty good. And it's it's like 100 and, 135 a a, a tub. So that could add up, but I think that's gonna last a while, but we are going to um, record it and figure out how long one of these tubs does in fact last. That one specifically that we got is 22% protein supplement. So that is just helping them out in the springtime, um, just giving them that boost as well since they're not on pasture um, and we are feeding them, uh, just helping them out, give them a boost, a little treat now and again. But we just put that thing in yesterday and they are loving it. This is the bull right here, old Lazarus. He's not super friendly. He's been taking some work to, to get friendly. Doesn't really beat you up though, which is nice. He will kick you. 
he will high kick you and he will high kick you sideways at head height, which is actually amazing to see that he can do that. Um, found out the hard way I touched him with the pitchfork when I was swinging around and he kicked the fence right here right next to me. So I got lucky. But he is a, a borrowed bull from a friend. He will be leaving our farm soon and then uh, we will be looking in the future to either get a bull from someone else or we will be AIing for a period of time. Kinley just got back with uh, the little cutter. This is a little ear tag cutter. Um, these two kid goats have long umbilical cords, so we're gonna cut them. If you don't slice the umbilical cords or keep them trimmed, there's um, the potential for mom to step on them or they step on them and it can actually you know, rip their guts out. So you wanna get their umbilical cords trimmed pretty quick. So this goat has been out free ranging and uh, Callie is going to stick it back in the pen. It's like the best way to move a goat is you just jerk them in there. So uh, getting put inside the pen, we'll get them some nice dry bedding to put in there and then those little guys will be protected for the first few days in there before they figure out that they can fit through that fence. But it just helps them to get a good start, stay protected in there. So off to get a bunch of grass and dry bedding. We'll go grab the tractor and go get a bucket load. Um, looks like these cows want some food too, so we'll just scoop up a bunch of grass and, and feed the cows as well. All right guys, well that is it for this video. Pretty cool, always a fun surprise to come home to a couple new animals on the farm. We are getting very close to getting some new calves on the farm, which is super cool. These guys, they just, they just trim up the, they trim up all the bushes around here. Here's the baby goats. Little white baby goat there. And then uh, the other little black goat there. <clears throat> Update on the other goats. We actually lost two of the goats. I gotta come and, I gotta come and ban that little guy. I just got, uh, I just got my bander back yesterday. So I gotta come and band him. And then we'll wind up banding the other one as well because I don't need any more bucks on this farm. We've already got two, we've got three, and that's good enough. So I'm gonna get rid of, uh, I need to get rid of one. And I certainly don't need to add two more. So they'll just become meat goats for the farm. Which will be a, a good addition going into the future to have a couple little meat goats hanging out. So next is calves. Uh, we'll be sticking around the farm, really watching the cows to uh, be able to watch the calves come into the world. It's very cool to watch a big animal enter the world. So we'll be sticking around the farm, keeping projects here, uh, not leaving too much in preparation for those guys coming. Because of course we want to show you guys as well, we don't want to miss it. So be looking for those videos. If you guys want to see some calves come into the world, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up on this video, share it if you feel the need to. Guys, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.